for the East begins. Round one, game one. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Look at the 76ers starting group. The pairing up front is Harris and MB. Tyrese Maxey out there with Lowry, and it's Oubre in at the small forward position. And for the Knicks, Dante DiVincenzo. He's out there with Jalen Brunson. Then it's OG Ananobi. Then it's Josh Hart. And it's Hartenstein in at the center, filling out the middle. Take a look at the Knicks. Greg, we know the confidence around this organization is extremely high. They feel like this is their series to lose. And, and you know, they have an edge playing at home. They also probably have an edge and talent level. But I'll tell you what, any number of things can shift momentum in a series. You need to try and make quick work of this one and get to the second round. Truly survive in advance, isn't it? Amen. And here's Maxi driving in. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Philadelphia shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. First free throw is good. Maxie hits them both. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Even Genzo with it. And Brunson, here we go. And the pass to Ananobi. Hart with it. It's a nice passing by New York here. Clock at four. And here's Brunson outside. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Now here's Lowry. Here's Maxi. Misses the three. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now, here's Ananobi. Pass to Hartenstein. Now, DiVincenzo. Launches it. Hits it from three-point range. And the shooting numbers just keep going up and up for Dante. against Lowry. Passes to Harris. Back to Lowry. Fires from deep. Brunson with some nice D. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Well, good with the triple. Philadelphia's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Right side Lowry. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. And it's Isaiah Hartenstein with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Now with two fouls here in the first quarter, everything changes for him. He's got to be more careful on defense. against Brunson. Embiid with a screen on Brunson. Rocket six. Three-pointer. Lowry. Another miss by Philadelphia. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. He's going to make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Over to the wing. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. And out of bounds as the Knicks gain possession. Yeah. 
And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for New York. That's the DiVincenzo. To the middle. Here's Hart. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. A demonstration of how tough Hart is. Willing to accept contact and really work through it. And he's got his first chance at the line here. At the line. What's up? One misses for Hart. Yeah, I know this gets said a lot. Josh Hart plays with Hart. It's true, though. This guy is a fantastic competitor. Plays with energy on both ends. And it's infectious for his teammates. Now, here's Maxi. And they get it. Rebounded by Hart. That's 0 for 4 now. Time to slow it down. And maybe get the best possible shot the next time down. Here's Brunson. And the rejection by Embiid. And how about the anticipation from the big fella? Embiid is one of the league's premier shot blockers. Maxi looking it over. He kicks it to Embiid. Here's the floater. It's blocked. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers have to retain possession here. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Here's Maxi. Can they get it? And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the call. New York with the foul. Better than most centers from the line. Embiid exceptional with his hands. Well, 76ers shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Two shots. one falls oh. 
and MB drops them both. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? He's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Hart the pass to Brunson from 12 feet out. No good on the shot. Some solid defense from Harris. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. The pass to Embiid. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And how about the poise from Embiid? Gets fouled, but stays with the shot and able to get that one in the air. On the night, he's gone two for two with the strike. The first one at the line is good. And MB drops them both. Knicks have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Pass to Hartenstein. Now, here's Hart. Now, DiVincenzo. It's Hart on the wing. Just five on the clock. Over Embiid. And Embiid with the block. To the paint. Here's Lowry. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Passes it to Brunson. To the inside. Embiid with the steal. And here comes Harris leading the fast break. And that one good. The combination of size and speed of Tobias Harris. When he gets going, hard to stop. Pass to Hartenstein. Now the pass to Hart. Brunson with it. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Back to Harris. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Lowry's shot is good. That set had a lot of rhythm, and that's at the hands of Kyle Lowry. Knicks trail by four. Ananobi is screen out low. Pass to Hartenstein. Down low. Will it go? That shot is off. Good work defensively by Lau. Oubre against Hart. And he comes up with the deuce. Oubre tonight has the coaching staff excited. He's playing with some confidence and looking good. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground Started. to a standstill. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here.
There's the pick to end the cold streak. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. From outside, off the mark. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. They trail by six. Passes it to Hart. It's stolen by Harris. Pass to Maxi. Back to Harris. Outside, Maxi. Embiid sets the pick for Maxi. Five to shoot. And again, it's Philadelphia. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. The pass to Juan Anope. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Harris. Outside, Maxi shoots over DiVincenzo. And Maxi gets it to go on the assist from Harris. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the 76ers. Right off the bat, they're going after the ball, looking to jump into the passing lanes and create some steals and transition. And I don't know if everybody's getting in this block party flow, but that's what's happening tonight. They've done a great job of being aggressive on all the shooters. New York calls timeout. Some changes for Philadelphia. Batum comes in for Oubre, and it's Buddy Heald in for Kyle Lowry. against Brunson. Pass to Hart. Here's Hartenstein. Shoots over Embiid. Harris looking it over. And Nicholas Batum with the slam. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Has to want to know. The two with the steal. Pass to Maxi. He dishes it to Heal. Philadelphia moving the ball around. And they double up MB. Six on the shot clock. Heal can't hit. Knicks trail by 12. The pass to Brunson. to DiVincenzo. Back to Brunson. To stop the run. And it's good on the way up. A ragged start for him offensively, but he'll take it. It brings him to one of eight from the field. 
Maxi against Brunson. It's good. Nice touch there from Maxi. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The there is a screen on Brunson. Harris outside. There's the three. Cranes it from beyond the arc. Harris has got five now. A solid three-point marksman. Harris has that inside-outside offensive game. Passes it to Hartenstein. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. That's to Brunson. And here is Ananobi. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Now the pass to Maxi. A minute 42 left here in the first quarter. Here's Embiid. It's rebounded by New York. Hartenstein's got five rebounds tonight. Runs in the pass to Ananobi. Here's Brunson. It's good. He has six. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Embiid sets the pick for Maxi. A three-pointer off the mark. Knicks trail by 11. And here is Ananobi. Still yet to score. 55 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Hart. No good on the three. And it's Batum with the ball. Bringing it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Right side, Maxi. Now the dish to Embiid. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. Here's Maxi. That's in. Coming off the assist from Embiid. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. There's 18 seconds left in the first. DiVincenzo with it. Pass to Brunson. Over Maxi. No good on the fadeaway. Well, that mid-range, Jay, usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing. He made it! He gets it to go! Wow! Wow! What a way to finish up the quarter. That's an incredible shot there. Just let it fly. Take a chance that somehow that one goes in. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers feeling good about their 17-point lead heading into the break. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And we'll be right back after this. to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. And the 76ers have been rolling along, haven't they? Throughout that first, they just were aggressive on the defensive end, showing active hands. You know, they really made a lot of good quality reads down there. Took some chances, but feeling more calculated than risky. Knicks trail by 17. I've down to the job there with OG Ananobi. Then there's Alec Burks. And then there's Precious Achua. And it's McBride in at the point. That's the five for New York right now. Total focus from Bogdanovich on that shot, ready to fire off the feed. Passes it to Reed. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Precious Achua. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Two shots.
The first one falls for him. Both free throws, good for Reed. Knicks trail by 16. Now here's Burks. Pass to Achua. Some nice passing by New York here. Here's McBride, and the Knicks hit again from deep. Over the taller defender. This is why you have to stay connected to shooters on the perimeter. Yeah, that effort just not good enough because even if that defender was a bit taller, the shooter already locked in. Here is Lowry. After New York gets the three, dishes to Reed. No good with the layup. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. Burks' shot is good. Good decision there by Bogdanovich. Solid at noticing when the defenses overcommit. Lowry finds heel. Now Oubre is covered by Bogdanovich. Let's the three fly. Oubre can't get it to go. New York's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Here's McBride. Got a piece of it. Oubre on the wing. He's guarded by Ananobi. A shot by Lowry. Wide open. Buries the long-range jumper. And Kyle Lowry, he has nights like this. He can hang with anyone from downtown. And the pass to Ananobi. And it's denied. Inside. It's tipped. Pass to McBride. The feed to Burks. That's tipped. Great anticipation. He's racked up a few of those blocks in his career, Batum has. Ananobi against Lowry. Back to Batum. And there's Lowry. That's good on the assist from Batum. Lowry's got five points now in the quarter. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Tough defense cannot shut Bogdanovich down. Boy, he's getting physical. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. At the line, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. One of the best shooters in the league. But what impresses me most about Bogdanovich is just how built out the rest of his game is. He's a complete player. So Bogdanovich nails both of them. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Healed outside. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to go on Alec Burks. Well, Heald just keeps coming right after you again and again as a defender. And eventually you'll tire out and make a mistake with a foul. And the first one drops. Buddy Heel just has such an incredibly quick trigger. And he makes both free throws. 
and they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Burks looking around. Passes to Bogdanovich. Tipped away. Oubre with the steal. Pass to Lowry. Now Reed. Kicks it to heel. Drives to the hoop. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And Philadelphia calls time here. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Philadelphia also making a switch. Maxi's checked in. Here's Lowry. He's got eight. Over in the corner, Batum. Here's Reed. It's rebounded by New York. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. The pass to Hart. There's a good screen. Shot clock at six. And that's a foul called on Kelly Oubre. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, looking up at the scoreboard, guys, that's his third foul, and his coach has to consider now sitting him down. Now, Burks. Six to shoot. Over Maxi. Burks' shot is good. Burks has got four this quarter. The 76ers leading by 14. Oubre outside. And there's the foul. It'll go on Josh Hart. That is his first foul of the game. And it's still early in the period, and they're only one foul away from being over the limit. The Knicks making a switch here. Brunson's checked in. against Hart. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Precious Achua. Uh, Oubre right there just not afraid to take it at the defense. The 76ers have made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10. And that one misses. Kelly Oubre is a multi-talented forward that plays with a lot of confidence. He can keep this kind of consistency. And he's going to do some damage in this league. He hits the second from the line. Knicks trail by 15. To the middle. It's deflected. Reed with the steal. On the wing, but two. He's guarded by Ananobi. Pass to Oubre. Batum a screen on Hart. Shot clock at six. Oubre dishes to Batum. Here's Maxi. Another miss by Philadelphia. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. 
Brunson goes in, and the basket is good. Brunson's got eight points. Now, guys don't want to guard someone like Jalen Brunson. He just keeps coming. Maxi against Burks. Read a screen. Now, here's Maxi. Defense is right there. Oubre passes to Reed, and the dunk by Reed. Now, Oubre will draw some attention as a scorer, but that's going to open up some passing lanes, and he doesn't make a mistake that time. Passes it to Ananope. Back to Burks. And there's the whistle. That's Illegal free. screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. The 76ers leading by 15. Reed, a screen on Brunson. It's Reed, top of the key. Outside, Batum. Off target with the open look. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Pass to Brunson. The shot, no good. Good work defensively by Lowry. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but you trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. Here's Reed, and the layup's good off the glass. Reed's got six here in this quarter. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter, and now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Batum against Ananobi. Oubre with the steal. Out to the right wing. Here's Lowry again, Philadelphia. And not a great start for him in the first, but he's quickly starting to turn it around. Knicks trailed by 19. And there's the pass to Achua. Bounce pass from Ananobi. The dunk by Achua. Textbook bounce pass there, perfectly timed. Philadelphia's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Pass to Oubre. Reed a screen on Hart. It's Reed high post. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. This is his second trip to the free throw line. At the line, two shots. First free throw is good. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. Hartenstein's checked in for the Knicks. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Burks. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Embiid's checked in. He's off on the second. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. On the wing, Ananobi. Embiid with the steal. Oubre passes to Lowry. Here's Maxi. Comes up empty down low. It's not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. Passes to Ananobi. to Brunson from the arc and the rejection by Lowry pass to Maxi back to Lowry there's the pass to Reed back to Lowry from past the arc it's rebounded by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Brunson kicks to Hart. There's the pick. Pass to Hartenstein. And that one, good. That was big because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. 
passes it to Embiid. Back to Maxi. Pass to Lowry. Embiid tips the pick for Lowry. There's the triple. Knicks with the rebound. Hartenstein's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Ananobi finds Brunson. Ananobi against Reed. Out to Brunson. A three for DiVincenzo. And it's Reed pulling it down. The 76ers leading by 16. Maxi into the lane. Embiid with a screen on DiVincenzo. The 76ers again can't hit it. New York's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. Here's Hart. And here's Brunson over Lowry. Brunson no good. Lowry with the ball. Outside, Maxi. That ball's nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Maxi's got 13 points. And you would expect a quality play like that from a quality guard like Kyle Lowry. There's a minute 40 left now here in the second. Here's Ananobi. Fades away and sinks the tough shot. Well, you got to get up tighter than that. Some players you can give that much room to, but not him. Timeout called the 76ers. It's Changes for Philadelphia. Tobias Harris is checked in for Paul Reed. And Heald subbed in for Kyle Lowry. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for Philadelphia. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Embiid with a screen on Brunson. Maxi passes to Embiid. It's rebounded by New York. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Here's Brunson. That one misses. Some solid defense from Maxi. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. And beat inside. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Knicks trail by 16. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Maxi. Well, Brunson, one of those guys who's just rugged at that guard position, able to throw his body around. The Knicks shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game.
shooting two. And he makes the first. Just really impressed with the player that Jalen Brunson has become in the NBA. He has mastered the fundamentals. Payne, he's checked in for Buddy Heal. So he gets them both. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Now, here's Maxi. He's got 13. Payne looking around. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Hart kicks to Brunson. He doesn't hit that one. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Now, here's Hart. And the pass to on and open. With the fadeaway. And the shot goes down. Off the pass from Hart, he's made major strides playmaking-wise, turning himself into a more complete offensive player. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Here with Tom Thibodeau. Coach, I saw you getting into your team. What's been the problem? We're playing a low energy game. We got to get into the ball. Our ball pressure has to be a lot better. Got to challenge shots, so we're playing low energy on offense. I sent the theme. Energy seems to be a problem. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Hey everybody, it's halftime of game one and a big lead right now for the Philadelphia 76ers. They've been playing downhill, getting to the charity stripe, making things happen. Charity stripe, huh? Haven't heard that in a while. What would it look like to play uphill? Hmm, doesn't sound good. No. Too much of an uphill battle. There you go. And looking at where the Knicks stand in this series, the lead in this series is up for grabs. How important is it to start off with a win? To me, it's crucial because it sets the tone. Ernie, Kenny, 
You always want to be a step ahead like I'm a step ahead of you guys. Mm, I agree with Shaq, but the playoffs are about adjustments. If you lose, hopefully you learn, and then you bounce back. Good points. I don't get to say that very often. And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. again as our round one coverage continues. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. And so in the game for the 76ers, the pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. Ari out there with Maxi, and it's Oubre in at the three, the small forward. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. Well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. And so it's New York with it. A 12-point game. Brunson against Lowry. Pocket six. Back to Ananobi. New York needs to get off a shot. Even Shenzo can't hit it. Philadelphia shooting under 40% all in all for the game. Harris passes to Maxi. It's up a three. Drills it from outside. Maxi's got it going here in the start of the second half. The first points in the third quarter for the 76ers. The pass to Hartenstein. Back to Brunson. Over Lowry. Brunson, good. Brunson's got 12. That's a tough distance to master, but Brunson making that mid ranger look good. Up top, MB. Back to Maxi. MB the screen. And it's blocked. DiVincenzo kicks to Brunson. Back to DiVincenzo. Releases from 15, and there are the Knicks with another bucket. And they're leading on the mid-range right now. That's six of the last ten from that area. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Back to Maxi. Knocked away. And Bead sets the pick for Maxi. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Two shots. Shoot two. good on the free throw. Good on the second free throw. Here's Brunson. 14 points for him. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Hart. Passes it to Hartenstein. Pass to DiVincenzo. Six on the shot clock. Tries again. And it's Kyle Lowry with the rebound. Lowry's got four rebounds now tonight. 
DiVincenzo against Maxi. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Off the left rim and out. Knicks trail by 12. The pass to Brunson. From 12 feet out. And the rejection by Embiid. Here's Harris on the money from 12 feet away. Ten points for Tobias Harris. Uh, this is a, a strength of Tobias Harris finding good rhythm now in the mid-range shot. Runs in the bounce pass. Pass to Ananobi. Jacks up a three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Ananobi's got his third basket of the night. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Embiid with a screen on DiVincenzo. Embiid trying to break loose. Hart finds Brunson. Back to Hart. Now Brunson. 14 points for him. Over Lowry, and Embiid with the block. Ball's not loose. Brunson against Lowry. Brunson scanning the floor. To the inside, and he dumps it down. Hoops in the nice feed, that's just good offense. 76ers leading by nine. Pass to Embiid. Down low, Harris. The layup off target. The Knicks have gone four of nine from the floor so far in the third. Out to Brunson. Pass to DiVincenzo. Here's Hartenstein. Guarded by Embiid. Brunson with a clean look. Knocks down the three ball. Brunson's got 17 now. Oh, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Now the pass to Embiid. Maxi against DiVincenzo. Maxi passes to Embiid. Now here's Ananobi. Tight defense on him. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the 76ers? They made a point to protect the rim, challenging shots all game long, and the block total is off the charts. The other part about tonight, you got to give credit to the coaching staff. They came in here with a great game plan, defensively locked in. They were ready for the sets. They jumped in passing lanes. They came away with steals. I mean, they anticipated just about everything. First one falls for him. Free throws good from Ananobi. The 76ers leading by four. Maxi passes to Embiid. And there's the call on Dante DiVincenzo. That's his first foul. Second team. New York on D. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Harris outside. And nothing has fallen for him right now. New York's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Here's Hartenstein. He's got six. Hart with it, picked up by Harris. Down to five on the shot clock. Brunson hits a two-pointer. Here's Hartenstein. Banked in off the glass. Hartenstein's got eight points. 
Well, look, they're getting stops, and they're attacking on the offensive end. Yeah, coaching staff probably loves this, just grinding out defensive possessions, which is helping them get back into their offensive flow. Timeout called the 76ers. Seventy sixers making a switch here, but Toombs checked in. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. And the next one puts them in the bonus. 13. Outside, Maxi. Pass to Batum. Another steal. Ah, you watched the defender, and it looked like he knew that was coming. He made a quick play on it to intercept the ball in the passing game. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for New York. They have been a wrecking ball defensively, coming up with steals, being active with their hands, and just doing a terrific job of disrupting the rhythm. And not to mention they're playing with great, great activity. A lot of blocked shots, good hands, active hands, nothing easy for the opposition. Here's Maxi. Bogdanovich picking up that last basket. Embiid. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Embiid's got six. And right there, Embiid showing he's just too big and too skilled to stop. Here's the screen. Hurts for three. Hartenstein passes to McBride. Hurts with it. He's covered by Maxi. Shot clock at six. Burks' shot is good. Burks has got it all tied up now for the Knicks. He's so impressive with the fortitude, the will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Well, they didn't really have a choice at the position that they were. They had to fight hard. They've gotten that. They've outworked the other team. Just fighting time. Here's Lowry. After Alec Burks' score, Lowry dishes to Embiid. Embiid is a monster in the lane. Wow. Looming large on the interior. Embiid, hard to deny. Passes it to Achua. Here's McBride. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for the 76ers. The lead is two. Yeah, it's no good. New York with the ball. They're on a 20-7 run. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. A dunk by Achua. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. 76ers have gone somewhat so far. 4-10 on their shots in the second half so far. Maxi kicks to Embiid. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. Ten points for him. 
<laughs> the big fella, MB, making it look too easy. New York calls timeout. Checked in for Hartenstein. Heald checked in for the 76ers. McBride has to a chew up. He kicks it to Bogdanovich. They get a hand on it. Ananobi passes to McBride. Just four to shoot. A three from Bogdanovich. Rebound by the 76ers. Earlier in the game, they had a 19 point lead. Heel finds MB. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Well, you could tell right there he just wanted to go for the jam, but the defense too good and distracting. Pass to on an open. Outside Bogdanovich. And trying for the go ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Outside, Maxi. Pass to MB. And they double up MB. Outside, Maxi. Beyond the arc. That shot, no good. New York trailing. And here's Burks. He has six. Here's McBride. Bogdanovich passes to McBride. With the shot. The shot that time, not on target. Philadelphia has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. At the top of the key, and B. Passes it to Harris. Over Bogdanovich. The 76ers again can't hit it. It's really a tale of two quarters. Shot it so well in the last, but this one can't get anything to fall. Burks against Maxi. Burks' shot is good. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. And so it's Maxi with it. He brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. And Bede is at the elbow. He holds from outside. That's good, and that's Embiid with the assist. Embiid's got three assists now in this one. Knicks trail by three. Pass to Bogdanovich. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. 
Philadelphia has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Six seconds separate in the shot and game clocks. Here's McBride. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. McBride's got five now. 23 seconds left in the third. Outside, Maxi. To the paint. Embiid is a load inside. You aren't going to get in his way. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Philadelphia ahead. They're up by three. And do not go away, as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard with the pass right on the money. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create freeing everybody up and that cut was wide open. NBA playoff round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. Bogdanovich out there with Josh Hart. Then there's Achua. Then there's Alec Burks. And it's McBride in at the one. That's the five for New York right now. Embiid sets the pick for Lowry. Feeds it to Embiid. Joel Embiid. Too big. Are we sure that's the same player, guys? He looks completely different. What confidence he's playing with. And look how engaged he is on both ends. Outside, Bogdanovich. Achua in the corner. Takes the three. That's good, and the 76ers' lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket from Bogdanovich. Stretching the floor now, Bogdanovich can hurt defenses from there. Maxi on the wing. Burks covering. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Here's McBride. Hart with it. Six to shoot. Back to Achua. A dunk by Achua. And it's official. They have come all the way back. At one point, this thing seemed to be out of reach. This is a testament to this team's fortitude, never giving up. Folks, we've got a new ball game. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Here is Lowry. The Knicks making the shot. Here is Harris. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. Well, Tobias just going strong that time. The pass to Achua. Trying to find Hart. Gets it to him. First team foul. Josh Hart at the line, two shots. We throw good, Hart, Jalen Brunson, he was checked in for New York. And then for Philadelphia, Nicholas Batum. He's checked in for Tobias Harris. And Heald subbed in for Kyle Lowry.
so he makes one of two as the second one misses. The 76ers lead. Oubre with it. Brunson picks him up. Batum. And Batum throws it down. And a little slam dunk from Batum. That'll work. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. Bogdanovich against Batum. And there's the call on Joel Embiid. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Here's Brunson. And there's the call on Precious Achua. That's his fifth foul. The 76ers leading by three. Outside Batum. Embiid with a screen on Bogdanovich. Good on the three-point shot. And the 76ers lead by six. And Batum pretty consistent from the three-point line. Defenses cannot afford to give him that kind of slack. Pass to Brunson. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Brunson's got nine points now in just the second half. Now, Maxi. High post, Embiid. Back to Maxi. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on Jalen Brunson. Tyrese Maxi. At the line. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for Buddy Heal. Maxi hits some ball. Next trail by six. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Outside Bogdanovich. Over Batum. Here's Achua. The dunk by Achua. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebound and going to work on the board. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And we know how good MB is at drawing fouls, especially in the painted area. He welcomes the contact. The free throw drops for MB. Both shots good from the strike. Time.
again with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the break, I heard Tom Thibodeau as he talked with the team. Now, he's not pleased with the perimeter game on both sides of the ball. He told his guys, we aren't working hard enough out there. We need to shut down the perimeter on defense, and on offense, we have to focus from good to great. Guys? All right, David, thanks. Next trail by six. Runs in the pass to Bogdanovich. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Nicholas Batum. I like that. Bogdanovich aggressive in the lane, creating his own offense. Two shots. Throw good, Bogdanovich. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. Philadelphia with the ball. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Passes to Embiid. Embiid! Wow! I don't think this is a conditioning issue, but they look like they've lost their legs here in the second half. Brunson against Lowe. Shoots the three. McBride's shot is off. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Going inside. Here's Achua. Tyrese Maxey grabs the miss. The 76ers leading by six. Kicks it to the two. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And so he's picked up his final foul. He will sit for the rest of this game. Yeah, and, and luckily they, they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one drops. And MB drops them both. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Trailing here by eight. And there's the pass to Bogdanovich. And again, it's the Knicks missing. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up. So maybe just a step too far. Now here is Lowry. And beat inside. Shot clock at five. A shot by Batum. No good. New York's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. DiVincenzo kicks to Brunson. Hartenstein passes to DiVincenzo. Into the lane. Here's Brunson. A special move before the shot. Brunson's got 11 in the second half. DiVincenzo being a connector out there now. Top MB. Back to Lowry. And it's Jalen Brunson. 
Robinson with the rebound. Knicks trail by six. Pass to Hart. Outside Bogdanovich. And he's good on the three ball. Bogdanovich has got eight points in the court. Well, he just nailed his second three of the half, guys. I'd be very aware of that if I were to defense right now. And here's Batum. Here's MD. Got a hand on it. Clemson with it. Passes it to Hart. Now, here's Bogdanovich. No good. That would have tied it. Inside. And Nicholas Batum, the bucket on the assist by Oubre. Oubre has got six assists in the game. New York's gone two or five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Pass to Brunson. to Bogdanovich. Oubre against Hart. There's a screen. It's over Embiid. Good D by Embiid. Philadelphia leading by five. Oubre kicks to low. Now the pass to Embiid. Outside for Batum. That's in. Coming off the assist from Embiid. Three points. Embiid's got four assists now tonight. For New York, they've gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Runs in the pass to Bogdanovich. Back to Brunson. Here's Hart. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Oubre. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Here's Brunson. Sweet little floater. Brunson's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Oh, wow. Brunson just getting sideswiped there and some strength to get through it. And Philadelphia calls time here. Who wants to see some? making a switch here. Ananobi's checked in, and the 76ers also making a change. Harris is checked in for Nicholas Batum. The 76ers leading by six. Lowry kicks to Oubre. Pass to Embiid. Back to Oubre. Bonex pull it in. Hartenstein's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Brunson against Lowry. Brunson the pass to Hartenstein. And there's the call on Tobias Harris. That is his first foul of the game. First to the foul. Fourth team foul. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Passes it to Brunson. A fader. Oubre pulls it in. Oubre's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Outside Lowry. Oubre passes to Harris. Here's Embiid for Hart. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Embiid's got ten points in the quarter. Well, no question, Joel Embiid is page one on the scouting report. Maybe page two and three as well. He is a handful. And here's Brunson outside. Good work defensively by Lowry. Philadelphia leading by eight. To the middle. He's looking for Embiid and finds him. 
And seeing a guy as big as Embiid being so fluid in terms of his movement, jaw dropping. Lowry against Brunson. Good D by Embiid. And so Lowry will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. High post, Embiid. to have him out there but they won't suffer much of a drop off first free throw is good Good from the line that time. Knicks trail by 12. A tremendous boost for these guys as this game winds down and what will be a win here in game one of the series for the 76ers. They simply ran them off the court. They set the pace and their transition game was executed flawlessly. And it's really got to feel very good to be able to jump out confidently to a 1-0 lead in this series. Absolutely. And I think their focus now has to be not on taking this win for granted. They should come out for game two with the same intensity and honestly, maybe even more. You know they'll face a more focused team in the next one. So they may have to be just a little bit tougher. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out. And doing it here again in this one. A terrific night for Joel and B. Oh, those points he had tonight, all critical, all from energy and activity. He just never seemed to stop. And an OB in the corner. Cranes the three-pointer. Ananobi's got it back down to single digits for New York. And what an assured player. Ananobi believes in his ability to shoot the ball off the catch. Now Lowry. So Philadelphia wins it. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum is so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this way into game two. And now let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, you took over offensively. What went into finding that rhythm? I thought I got the shots that I wanted and I played into the floor of the offense and my teammates were finding me, so I just knocked down some shots. Well, they were smart to look for you, man, because you had it going on, man. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Joel Embiid.